Hi, this is Shiroz from Fast Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to realign a disk drive on a PS4 Pro. So with this PS4 Pro, what's happening is once you turn the console on, you're going to hear this noise coming from the disk drive. And it's a, it's a, it's a gear noise. It sounds like the gears are spinning constantly. And what happens is it doesn't accept the disk. And that happens most likely if you try to push the disc in or if you try to put more than one disc in at a time. What happens is the rollers fall off and the disc drive gets misaligned. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix that today. Uh, as you can hear, it's constantly making that, that noise. Um, and it's not gonna, once we, if you try to put a disc in, uh, when it's not making that noise, it's not gonna go in. As you can see, it's not accepting the disc at all. The console is turned on, the light's white, but it won't take the disc in and it makes that noise. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to disassemble the console and how to fix the problem. Unfortunately, we have to um, take a bunch of stuff out to get to the disc drive. The disc drive's not accessible until you remove the motherboard. So it, it does make this repair a bit difficult. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so here's our PS4 Pro. We're gonna start by looking at the back here. Okay, we're gonna remove this blue tape. Uh, this tape comes on certain PS4 consoles. Uh, most of them don't have this, but some of them do. We're gonna remove this tape if you have it. Uh, then we're gonna remove the hard drive cover. We can do that by sticking our finger here and then just lifting it like so. And it'll come out. Okay, next step would be to remove these two stickers here. Okay, they used to be the warranty stickers, but due to a recent FTC ruling, um, these are no longer warranty stickers. If you remove them, your warranty is not gonna get voided. So we're gonna stick our knife in here, remove, it, remove these stickers, like so. Okay. Once those stickers are out of the way, we're gonna remove these Torx screws that hold the bottom case in. Okay. Once these screws are out of the way, we can just remove the bottom cover like this, okay? bottom cover will just come off okay then what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the console over on the other side okay and we're gonna remove the top cover which is this piece we're gonna stick our fingers here and then just lift This one's particularly difficult to take off. Some of them are harder than others. I don't know why, but some of them just don't like to come off. There you go. Fuck. Okay. So, next step would be to remove this power supply here, okay? Put this here. Okay, next step would be to remove the power supply. And we can start removing the torque screws that hold it in place. By the way, this screwdriver, guys, we sell on our website, and you need this to take your PS4 apart. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Also, in certain cases, you might need to replace the disk drive uh, instead of just realigning it. And I have a whole video on that. I'll put a link uh, in the description for that as well. Also, if you do need a disk drive, uh, we do sell the disk drive on our website as well. So I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So then we're gonna remove this heat shield slash uh, uh, grounding plate. And it has two Torx T8 screws, they're longer ones. So be mindful of that. I'm gonna get that out of the way. I'm gonna 
flip the console over one more time. And then we're gonna remove all these screws that hold the motherboard in. Because the motherboard has to be removed to get for us to get to the disk drive. Once we remove the torque screws, we're going to remove the Phillips screws as well. The black ones are just standard Phillips screws. Um, and in case you don't have a Phillips screwdriver at home, we sell those as well. But usually everyone has a Phillips screwdriver at home. Okay. So I'm removing all the screws from the board except one and I'll show you why in just a second. Okay, then we're gonna remove the fan connector here and just Pull it out by wiggling it and remove the screw that holds the hard drive in. And we're just going to remove the hard drive by pulling it out like so. Now we're going to flip the console again and now we can remove the power supply. So we're going to lift the power supply, okay, lift it out and then there's a connector here at the front, right here, this connector. We're going to remove it by pulling it. Okay, now we're gonna get the power supply out of the way. We can remove this cable as well. Okay, now we can flip it over. Remove that last screw from the motherboard. And now our motherboard uh, heat plate should be free. We're gonna remove these antenna cables. Okay. Unroute this cable. Lift this piece out. Okay. Now we're gonna remove uh, this heat plate here behind the APU chip. It's got standard Phillips screws on it. Okay, once we remove the screws, uh, there is a place where you can stick your finger in here, and then, oh, I forgot one screw. Once the last screw is removed, you can lift this piece out like so. Then we're gonna remove the heat sink clamp. It's got four Phillips screws on it.
Okay, we're gonna get the heat sink clamp out of the way. Then we're gonna lift this piece like so. It's got these two plastic tabs on it and they sit in here. We're gonna get this piece out of the way. Okay, now finally, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're ready to remove the motherboard. Uh, and to do that, we're gonna remove the power button, ribbon cable, and the eject uh, ribbon cable here. We're just gonna, we can just pull them out. They'll come out. These connectors here, these connect the disk drive. These are for the disk drive. So we're gonna remove these. This one here has a, a retainer clip that you can lift and uh, pull the cable out. And the rest of them, you can just pull like so. And we're gonna lift the motherboard out from the USB side up. We're gonna get it out of the way. That's our motherboard, okay? We're gonna get that out of the way. We're not done yet. <laughs> We still have to, now we have to remove the heat sink plate, uh, the heat sink assembly, which is this piece right here. Uh, and the screws that we need to remove are uh, this one here, this one, and I believe there might be one more. Oh, there's just two. So now that that's out of the way, now we have access to the disk drive. And oh, by the way, usually guys, this heat sink here would be clogged with dust, so you might wanna clean it out. This one's super clean, but usually these heat sinks are clogged with dust. So now we have access to the disk drive. Okay, there's a few screws that hold it in place. There's about four Phillips screws. Three of them are silver. These ones here, and then there's a black one here. The black one's a long one. This one here goes here, and then the rest of them are short. Okay, got those out of the way. Now our disk drive should be ready to come out. Okay, that's our disk drive, and I'm flipping it over. And it looks like it's actually stuck in the open position. So it's stuck like this. Uh, and I believe that it could be, this is not misaligned. This is actually, well, it is kind of misaligned, but this seems like this frame here, this frame here, this piece might be bent out of shape because the normal position for this is supposed to be like this. It's supposed to stay here, and then when the disc goes in, this piece goes like this, and then the disc is locked in place. But what's happening here is this piece is actually staying like this, which is interesting. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, take this piece off, and there's three screws, or sorry, two screws that hold it in frame out of the way. Okay, there's two screws, one here, one here. Okay, and then we're gonna lift this piece off. Okay, normally guys, what happens is these rollers are misaligned. Okay, this piece usually comes out like so. Okay, and then these pieces will be like moving around in there. And usually all you have to do is realign them and you're good to go. Like this. This is the most common problem. And that's what I thought it, this was when I opened it. But I guess not. Just gonna put those back in. like this okay like that and then you just click push them down and this is the most common problem so 90% of you guys that were having this issue uh, it's gonna be with these rollers here they're gonna be out of place uh, and this piece most likely is gonna be fallen and stuck in the disk drive somewhere so as you can see this is the problem right here um, this is the issue 
This is supposed to go back like this, but it doesn't. All right, guys, so in this case, I was not able to fix the PS4 Pro by just realigning the rollers. But in most of the cases you guys are gonna see, uh, you're gonna be able to realign the rollers and get the disk drive working again. Also, don't mind my quarantine look. That's just how it is these days. Not getting out much, so don't have to shave anymore. But anyways, back to the point. Uh, all you guys are gonna have to do is, most of the times you're gonna have to realign the rollers and that's gonna fix your issue. Worst case scenario, the top housing on the disk drive is bent. And in most cases, if you just bend it back and shape that, it should fix your problem. And then if that doesn't fix your issue, you're gonna need a new disk drive. And I'll put a link in the description box for each PS4 Pro disk drive. And you can buy it directly from a website at fasttechstore.com or fasttech.ca. Uh, and again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more content.